Hey, how you doing? My name is Chris. Thanks for watching this video. It's going to be hopefully serving three purposes. First of which is to just kind of do a demo of how to put up and uh, take back down this roof nest Sparrow XL tent that I have on the top of my truck. Um, because when I learn to do it, there are videos out there, but um, I feel like we need to see a video that has the putting up and the taking down of the tent because um, there are some tricks that make it a little bit easier. And secondly, um, just to kind of give you my thoughts on the, the roof nest, uh, this particular roof nest tent. And thirdly, just to kind of show my friends and family who have been kind of following my travels around, just kind of show you what the heck I've been doing for sleeping because a lot of you are probably wondering how I'm managing to drive around the country and where I'm sleeping and so I'm about to show you so it's gonna be real time so I mean there might be periods where I'm just kind of um, screwing around with something on the tent but uh, this is exactly what it looks like when I you know pull up somewhere I need to um, go to sleep so um, without further ado we can get started uh, the first thing I got to do is um, take the, this off the quill um, this is the cord that hooks up to the solar panel that connects to the battery that connects to the fridge. So I don't want to, when this thing goes up, I don't want this to get ripped out or anything. Um, then the first step you want to do if you're putting one of these up is to undo this back clasp. And then you come around to the sides and undo these. Super simple to put it up. It's a little bit more challenging to put it back down. So then once you have the back clasp um, undone, you can jump up here and then kind of start sending it on its way. It has gas struts, so um, it takes it a little bit of time to wake up and start to head north, but it will. Uh, once you got it started back here, let me come around to the front and a lot of times they just come open um, anyhow, but you just make sure that these front clasps are down. There's only four uh, metal clasps, one on each corner. And then I jump up and send the front on its way. And we've got some extra blankets in there that stay up there full time. So I think that kind of um, means that it takes a little bit more time for the struts to wake up and get the thing pushed all the way up. And the last step really is just coming around the tent and pulling these rain flaps down so that if it does rain, uh, we don't get any condensation pooling at the bottom of the tent. Um, so that's it. Um, but you might be wondering how we get in. That's a great question. They give you this collapsible ladder the good people at roof nest do and it's uh it's very sturdy um i haven't had any problems my, i guess my only thought with the ladder is that um if you have bare feet it's kind of hard on your feet um so uh you'll find that out if you ever use it without any shoes on but i usually try to make sure that i've got shoes on when i go up and down um and then just another little challenge is if there's, then I realize I want to get something out of here, I have to you know, take it off, move it, and get in. But that's no, no big deal. So then to actually get up into the tent, come up the ladder like so, and they, um, they make it really easy. I've had some really nice days just sitting in the tent where I can drive up and find somewhere that has a really nice view and um, there's four windows um, one on each side of the tent that roll either roll up which I found to be a little bit easier um, but there's also poles in here a sack of poles that you can bring out and they basically act as like an awning so the top of it will come out to about here um, and those are nice as well if it's a rainy day you can help keep out the rain but you can keep your windows open but I definitely prefer, as long as the weather's good, to just have the screen open because um, it's just so easy to roll these things up and to leave them up there just like so. Um, so then they have these little bungee cords in here that help to kind of keep the 
um, the tent pulled together when you actually take it down. So if you want, I can take the camera and show you what's going on on the inside and how we kind of arrange it um, when we go to bed. So it's a bit hard to tell exactly um, with the perception of the camera what it looks like in here, but um, I can tell you it's a little bit higher up here on this side. So that's where we keep all the blankets under when we collapse the tent. Um, so basically I don't have a sleeping bag I just have a bunch of blankets and that's worked just fine. I did buy an electric blanket. If it gets really cold on a cold night, I can use that. And then, um, yeah, the last thing I'll point out up here is that Roof Nest provides you with a couple of these bags that are pretty convenient. You can just hang them on the outside of the tent to hold your shoes when you go to bed. And then they also gave me a really nice rechargeable lamp. Um, I actually have visions of trying to um, get a projector in here and um, actually be able to like project movies when I go to bed, which I will update you if I'm able to pull that off. Um, but yeah, so that's the, the general lay of the land on the interior. Now we're gonna spend what will probably be uh, a few more minutes, if you can bear with me, um, just putting the tent back down. Just like I said, this does take a little bit more time so the first thing you want to do safety tip is get out of the tent the next thing you want to do is be really careful another safety tip with your fingers with this ladder um, so it's a kaleidoscope ladder and you will get your fingers pinched if you're not paying attention I had a close call right when I got it and that's been enough to uh, make sure that I um, am mindful when I'm putting the ladder away. So that'll just go back in the bag. I'll deal with that later off camera. That's not too exciting, so we'll do that later. Uh, the next thing you've got to do is um, roll these little rain flasks up. And then I um, locked myself out of the car. I just usually open the front door so that I can jump up on the front. It's a little bit easier. This thing is a lot easier when you have two people to pull down the tent, but it's doable. It took me a little bit of trial and error to um, figure out um, what was the easiest way for me to do it. So once the rain flasks are pulled up, then you can take this piece here that they have on both sides and just pull it down using this thing. And then another tip that you wanna know is to try to have this piece underneath this little pull down strap so that when you actually finish it, these um, big loops will actually be able to tuck up into uh, the tent. So that's just to kind of hold the back somewhat down. And then you can walk around sides and just kind of try to keep things pulled in as much as you can it'll probably need it again right before we finalize it and really clasp it down but I've found that it just kind of helps to kind of stage it a little bit and try to keep it all pulled in as much as you can this is the only really tricky part if you have two people you can pull down from each side but I was finding it really hard to reach all the way over here and pull it down. So for those of you who are daring enough, um, you can actually just pull one of these moves and pull it down equally, pretty easily on both sides of the tent. And again, you want to make sure that this piece is up. Tucked in. There we go. And then watch your fingers. These clasps and I usually just kind of stage them and I'll come back and finish up here and pull the clasp down. That just gives me still a little bit of room 
on the side so that I can finish tucking the um, the actual tent material into the tent. So then go around on both sides and make sure all of this is completely tucked in. don't want any of this material to get wet and stay wet for a long period of time in between uses um, so to prevent any mildew or anything you don't want growing in there so I'm going to come back here and actually finish pulling this down tighten up the strap a little bit more and then try to do the clasps on both sides back here just like that and they lock in super tight okay and you are able to keep some blankets up there but the more you keep up there it does make it a wee bit more challenging to close it. Let's get up to jump back up here. There we go. And then I usually just kind of walk around it to make sure that everything looks solid and uh, make sure that I didn't forget any of the clasps. Finally, I just kind of tighten up the back strap and then um, roll up the cord for the solar panel and Another thing I forgot to mention earlier is that they provide you with a bag um, up here. I usually just keep the couple of the little solar shower that I have um, and I keep my dirty laundry up there so it doesn't stink up the car. Um, and so that's basically it. Like I said, it takes about, it takes a little bit longer to take the tent down. Probably about, if you start to get good at it and quick with it, uh, one person, three to five minutes probably. and with two people you can do it in just a couple minutes to put it up only takes a minute um, and I love it I mean it's been great uh, it did cost me a significant amount of money um, if you're interested in learning all the specs and everything about it and seeing other reviews the one that I purchased is the Sparrow the Roof Nest Sparrow XL the XL version gave me an extra 10 inches of width which um, was a smart call um, we've had two people my girlfriend and I have slept in there just fine without too much, you know, thrashing around and elbowing one another in the face. I don't recall any serious incidents, um, no injuries up there yet. Um, but I think it's, if you're gonna try to put two people up there, you would wanna get the XL, which I think was just like a hundred or $200 extra. And they make a, a lot, a couple different other models. Um, but this one, for me, I really wanted something that I didn't have to fold out and then fold back in. Um, I wanted this just to be able to pop up and then pop back down. And um, I like that the ladder isn't part of the support for the tent because at night, just to give me a better sense of security, I actually pull the ladder up into the tent, which if you have a tent, a rooftop tent that folds out perpendicular to the truck, the ladder actually acts as a support and you would never really be able to pull the ladder back into the tent at night. So I'm glad I did that. Um, I'm glad I got the kind of one, the hard shell version that I did. Um, I guess one of my only knocks on it would be, and I don't know if it's just the way I put it on or if it's this truck in particular, but it's a bit creaky when you're actually laying on it or moving around in it. You can kind of hear it creaking around. Um, I think it's just the fiberglass rubbing against the, um, 
the crossbars. It's not a big deal. Um, it's no problem at all, but it's just a bit of a drag when you're kind of, anytime you want to move around in the tent, you can kind of hear it creaking. But I mean, other than that, I can't think of one thing that I don't love about this tent. Um, it served me well. I've slept two to four weeks now in it on the road and I sleep like a baby. Uh, the mattress is really good. It doesn't um, cave in. It's just got that nice um, mix of firmness and uh, memory so you don't like start to hit your um, hip bones against the, the fiberglass or anything. It has a condensation mat under the mattress so the mattress doesn't get all wet. You can even unzip the cover around the mattress and wash it if you needed to. Um, it breathes well. It's, it handles well in the wind. I haven't been in really seriously windy conditions, but when it is windy, it's not loud enough that it would put you off of being able to sleep. Uh, so, I mean, honestly, I can't recommend it enough. Like I said, it's not cheap, but um, I think it's money well spent and I should have it for, for years and years and years. That's my hope anyway. Uh, so if you have any suggestions or you notice a way that I'm putting it up or down that you think I might be able to do it faster, I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Um, that's kind of the way I've come to uh, figure out how to uh, put it up and take it down the quickest and that's it i uh, hope that everyone that's watching this video is doing well and take care